Hello everyone. So in this video, I wanted to create one uh, automation rule for all of you, and the 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 rule will basically do few things. Things like uh, automatically creating a ticket in Jira Service Management based project, and at the same time, apart from creating the the ticket in a Jira Service Management project, the rule will also set the description automatically assignee as well maybe any custom field and most importantly the rule will also set the request type now setting a request type is really important because request types will enable you to basically have that particular ticket available for the customer on the portal so basically when the when the when the when the issue is raised usually from the portal the request types are uh, filled in for you or basically populated for you and based on those request types you can of course do wonderful reporting if you want and there are other things like you know queues that you can configure and most important importantly the issue types or i should say the request types are actually mapped to the issue type for example your issue type could be incident but your request types could be you know report a system problem report hardware failure basically you can capture different uh, uh, information based on those forms that you can uh, configure on the portal and uh, based on the form based on the request form you will have uh, a specific request uh, type uh, set on the on, on the issue or ticket now for this particular example what i want to show you is uh, the scenario is that you will have two jira service management projects project a project b and when something happens in project a let us say an issue or i should say a ticket is created in project a let us say you want to create uh, the same ticket in project b uh, for some reason <laughs> let us not uh, try to uh, challenge this scenario but let us say you want to create uh, uh, or trigger this rule to do something when the when the ticket is raised now when 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 we create the ticket in the target project we want to set a few fields but most importantly we also want to set the request type now let us see how we can do that now for this particular rule i will be using two projects service desk which is of course uh, one of the project and let us say this is our target project or no let us say this is our source project and then we have uh, testing ops genie this is our uh, target project now this scope here th for this particular rule is of course multiple because we want to do something uh, that will basically involve two projects and uh, usually when i am i mean if you know me if you if you are following my content i always try to uh, test things a lot now whenever you're working with with with, audit, with automation rules one thing that i recommend i highly recommend is to use a log action now what you can do is if you want to figure out what is happening in the issue let us say you know you want to figure out the current uh, request type of the trigger issue trigger issue is basically the, the issue where this particular from where this particular rule will be triggered uh, you want to get the request type now when i mean the requirement is that if let us say i'll, I'll probably open a separate uh, window here and uh, show you when this rule will be triggered so if i let us say create a new ticket in my service desk project which is uh, this one and let us say you want to create a uh, uh, a request type here it could be any request type but uh, because uh, we want to see how this rule will trigger or this rule will create a new ticket and at the same time trigger or not trigger but at the same time we'll edit the request type we want to know uh, what that request type is so using this log action you can uh, see what is happening in the trigger issue and what i want to do here is i want to check if the request type is equal to let us say report a system problem so if i go back to the issue and uh, if the if the source or the trigger issue or the trigger trigger ticket has this uh, type let us say you know this is uh, my or let us say you know printer is not working let us say some something is not working it's a problem system problem i may have a description let us say you know i'll just copy the same description just to because i'm lazy so let us copy the description I may want to assign the issue to someone. Let us say, let us let, let us assign it to me, and uh, I will also. Uh, I mean, you can also fill in uh, other fields. But what we want to do is, uh, the moment this particular ticket is created, you want to maybe create the same ticket in a target project with the same set of 
fields. Uh, maybe you want to also populate the request type summary. You want to copy it from the source or trigger issue. And you want you may also want to copy the description and also the assignee. Now, if you look at the rule, the rule here is doing few things. Number one, uh, first of all, it is going to create uh, the issue. Now, if you create the new issue, you can select here the target project and the target issue type. So this target issue type is very important because we are trying to work within the boundaries of incident. So one incident can be mapped to multiple request types. So make sure you are selecting the right, right issue type here. And uh, you may want to also copy the summary, description and the assignee. So when you are copying some information from the trigger issue, uh, you can select here uh, trigger issue, of course, but uh, it could be current issue, which is not the case. It could be parent issue if you're talking about, uh, let us say, subtask. But right now we are talking about, uh, you know, the trigger issue, service desk incident. Now, if you are on this particular uh, section, you may want to also set the request type. Now, if you type here request type, you might uh, not be able to do it. It will probably tell you that you need to use edit request type action instead. So basically, we want we want to use that. So uh, before you can actually use the edit request type uh, action, what you need to do, because this is a newly created issue, you want to first basically make sure that whatever you want to do, like, you know, edit something, you want to do it on the newly created issue, not the trigger issue. But for doing that, I also want to check that if let us say the trigger issue dot request type, which is let us say in this case, uh, what is this reporter system problem? If if that is the case, then uh, I want to first uh, make sure that there's a branch rule. And when you're working with the branch rule, you will be able to specify what you want to do in that particular or what exactly are we talking about here? Are we talking about uh, current issue? Uh, maybe the subtask or maybe the parent, but you also have this option called most recently created issue, which is of course, you know, the one that we are doing in the ops genie project, the testing ops genie project. So make sure you, you have this branch rule. If you don't do this and if you directly, you know, go to the edit request type, then the edit request type will basically work on the original trigger issue, not the source uh, or no, not source, but target one. So make sure you select here request type. And uh, this request type, because we are checking here on top, if the uh, if the trigger issue has a reporter, reporter system problem, then uh, my my target or my newly created issues request type should also be reporter system problem. And that is it. This is your rule. And if you publish it, you can, of course, you know, see how this rule will work. And for doing that, I will come back here to the audit log and I will, uh, you know, click on the create button. So the moment I click on the create button, hopefully, the rule will do something and if I re maybe refresh here, hopefully it will uh, trigger the, oh, the rule is not really enabled. So let me enable it now and let me do it one more time and uh, it's okay. So let us do it one more time. Hopefully it will work now. Printer is not working. Printer is not working. Asani is me. And uh, what else? I think that is it. Create. Let us go back to the rule and uh, let us see if it works. So it is in progress and uh, success. Let us see if it worked, if it worked or not. So basically this will, I mean, of course, you know, we are, we are looking at the log, which is showing us the request type of the trigger issue. And it will show you that, you know, TO-13 uh, was created and the request type was edited successfully for this issue. So it seems like Looking at the uh, details here, it seems like it works. So let us first monitor. Uh, let us first take a look at the summary, which is fine. Printer is not working. Description is also copied for us. Assignee is also copied for us, which is uh, great. And uh, the most important part was the report assistant problem, which is perfectly working. And uh, I actually wanted to show you how it works so that you can also do this thing in your rule. Basically, if you're trying to edit or if you're trying to set the request type, you have to do it using this method. And that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.